She's the star of the critically acclaimed legal drama that has audiences glued to their TVs every Wednesday night. Here with the inside scoop on the fourth season return on USA's Suits is Gina Torres. Welcome back to the show. Thank Good you. Good to have you here, Gina. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be back. All right. So Always the show time. is about attorneys, but it has little to do with the law and a lot to do with <laughs> drama. And that's what we love about it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so absolutely. What can we expect for the remainder of the fourth season? More drama. You just said uh, okay. it. Okay. You just <laughs> you just said it in a nutshell. Uh -huh. Yes, um, you know, a lot of legal two-stepping, mm -hmm. which is kind of what we've been uh, uh, known for. But a lot of drama, a lot of stuff has hit the fan um, this season. You know, we had our cliffhanger at the end of 10. Mm -hmm. Louis Litt found out the truth of our dirty little secret. Yes. And, um, and so there's, a, there's, look, the chips are falling and they're falling everywhere. So, yeah. yeah. Now, you, of course, play Jessica Pearson, yes. who's the co-founder of the firm. How are we going to see her evolve this season? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, she had, uh, we established a love interest for her yeah. mm -hmm. um, at the beginning of season four, which was really new territory mm -hmm. for Jessica. We have not, we had not seen that, that part of her yet, like yeah. functioning inside of an intimate relationship, mm -hmm. although her relationships are intimate with mm. Lewis and Harvey, but very, in a very different way. Um, I think you see more of, oh gosh, I don't know. I, I wanna say a softer side, but we, yeah. but we mm. really see the toll that it takes um, for her. Mm -hmm. um, being in, in this way? position, yeah. the, there's sacrifice. You know, we don't mm -hmm. often talk about it. We, we love mm -hmm. to, and I love to talk about how much she um, has accomplished and who she is in the world and, and how mm -hmm. people view her. But there are sacrifices along the way that somebody mm -hmm. makes, that anybody yeah. makes. Women in particular yeah. are asked a great deal. Yeah. Um, and how that sits with her. So we'll actually see that in play. Oh, that's Ooh, interesting. In the next six. Right. Yeah. Well, we have a clip um, from the show, so let's take a look. I see you haven't slept. I have a lot of work that needs attending to. I bet you do, considering the phone call I got from Joan Walsh this morning. Oh, she called you? She wanted to know what the other name partners were going to do about the one that screwed the pooch. Oh, come on, that is not fair. I didn't have all the information. You had I... enough information to make a deal to get it from Harvey. And part of that deal was you backing me with Jeff. Oh, so that's why you're here. You don't trust I'm still gonna do it? Because you haven't done it yet. And you have a history of making poor decisions when things aren't going your way. The only poor decision I've made is agreeing to cover for you in the first place. You didn't think that was such a bad idea when you were using it to get what you wanted. And now you're threatening to take that thing away. Lewis, you want to keep Joan? That's on you. But I held up my end of the bargain. You better hold up yours. Woo! That's definitely not the softest side, Jessica. <laughs> That's the part we love. That's her, She yeah. is totally no-nonsense, all about her business. What's mm -hmm. it like playing a character like that? Liberating. <laughs> I would think, get everything out, right? Liberating, <laughs> yes. You know, she, I like to think of her as, as sort of giving other women out there permission. Yeah. To, to just stick to their guns and, you know, and not be so willing to, to just to bend. Mm. You know, sometimes you just have to stand your ground, you know, when mm -hmm. you know that what you're doing is, is right. Yeah. And you have to really be true to your path and true to, your, to yourself. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a good message to send. Now, one of the things I really love about the show is the fashion. Uh -huh. Your fashion <laughs> in particular. Yes. You get to wear all these top designers. Do you actually get yes. to keep the clothes as well? How no. fun is it to... to oh, you, no, you don't, don't say that. Don't. Oh, no. I know. It's heartbreaking. Oh, yeah. It's hard. I, I mean, like you know, I get to play with them. You get to play and dress touch up. them. And I get, I do, <laughs> yeah. I do. I get to play. Uh, but you know, that was an incredible example of mm. yet another, you know, fantastic outfit yeah. that yeah. I get to wear. And really, with Jessica, it's not just it's it's structure. You know, mm. it's, it's it's almost sculpture and yeah. architecture. The way um, everything is, the silhouette is built, and and it, you know, she's become known it for that. Power, it's really fantastic. It? Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely. Wow. What about you in your personal life? How do you dress? What, what, who are some of your favorite designers? Oh, um, well, I'm wearing Carolina Herrera today. Very nice. Um, Very nice. You know, I, love, I, I love designers that, that know how to cut for a woman's body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, so, I, so I love the classics. Oscar de la Renta and, and you know, YSL yeah. and Carolina mm -hmm. and, and you know, Prada. But I mean, everybody has incredible pieces. Like there are some Tom Ford pieces that I've worn on the show Ooh, that yes. are just mm -hmm. breathtaking yeah. and you know, absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the fashion definitely didn't disappoint last week, and neither did your guest director, the co-star <laughs> who plays Harvey. He actually directed. 
directed. Yeah, what? <laughs> Gabriel, look, he actually directed last week's episode, right? How yes. did he do as a director in that suit? <laughs> oh, well, um, he, he did great. You know, uh -huh. he did great. Patrick Adams also directed one um, mm -hmm. that's coming up later on in the season. Yeah. Um, they, look, they love the show. They want to do what's best for the show. We mm -hmm. love the show. We want to do what's best for the show. Um, so it was a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so it was really interesting for, I think, all of us to not just take direction from Gabriel, mm -hmm. but to see how he sees that particular world. Yeah. You know, for all of us, mm -hmm. um, because we're so often in our own characters that now as a director, you, sort, you have to see the whole picture and how mm -hmm. every piece of the puzzle interacts and really be try to be as true to them mm -hmm. as possible. Yeah. Yeah. So coming out of the box of your of your own character mm -hmm. and attacking everybody else yeah. is not attacking everybody else, but attacking, <laughs> you know, that sort of that frame of mind is very different. And they did very well. Well, it sounds like you have a director's mind from that description. Oh, Are we right. going to see you <laughs> step behind the lens yourself and direct oh, the show? Oh, gosh, the episodes? you know, I, I flirt with that idea yeah. all the time. And mm. it's hard work. I mean, it's really, really hard work. And I think there's a part of me that, that would love to do that. There's also a part of me that loves um, the producing aspect of it mm. to make sure that the stories get told there are so many amazing stories out there, people and just situations that, that deserve to, to be voiced, and I would love to have a part in that. Well, you're okay. going to have to clear some time in your schedule first. You were just also cast it in Revenge yes. as well. Yes. Uh -huh. How is it playing an aspiring socialite? Fantastic. And it's a great show as well. Both <laughs> yeah. of these shows are amazing. Yes, yeah. I'm, I've been a, a closet revenge fanatic <laughs> right. since the beginning. I, I love it. I love the genre of um, nighttime soap opera, mm -hmm. and, and it was a way of sort of getting out there and, and doing some mustache twirling and, and <laughs> you know, walking that line of melodrama. Nice. Mm -hmm. Your husband, of course, is Lawrence Fishburne. Yes. Do you both sit at home and watch each other's shows? He's <laughs> on Blackish. Do you? Oh, well, you should have did that, babe. You, you got to fix that next yeah, time. Exactly. <laughs> no, we never do that. Oh, okay. No, that's, that's asking smart. for it. Yeah, yeah, that is asking for it. We do. We, you know, we love Blackish. We, uh -huh. I mean, I think it's an amazing show, yes. and everybody yes, should be watching definitely. it. Definitely. Um, and we laugh out loud and Delilah watches our daughter you know it's 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 like family time yeah. you know it's really one of the few things that we've done that that uh, that as a family that our child can watch <laughs> <Very true. laughs> yes exactly so so that's been fun that's uh -huh. been that's been a good time but um, no I, I think it's it's difficult to some degree because I think both of us like to have a little bit of distance mm -hmm. on the stuff that we're doing I know I certainly do so it's hard for me to watch um, Suits in real time. I kind of have to because you good people are talking to me about right, it. Right, right, right. I don't have to what, what, what did I do? Happening, yeah. what, what happened? <laughs> what, okay, right. Um, so I kind of watch everybody else, right, right, right. <laughs> just to remind myself. That's but important. Um, but I, I, you know, come on, he does yeah. amazing work. I mean, yeah. Who wouldn't want to watch that? Yeah, you well, both you do. Both, yeah, oh, you both do amazing you. work. And we'll be able to watch you every Wednesday night on USA in yes. Suits. Yes. Thank you so much. And we'll watch him on Wednesdays in Black. Watch as well. him on Wednesdays. Exactly. Yeah. Watch me on Revenge. Double feature. And, yeah. You know, and then yes. <laughs> we got a whole schedule filled. Thank exactly. you so much. Can continue the great work. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.